everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and spread the word! Shout it to the rooftops! The fourth annual Zelda month is here! Ooh. I like peas. That was pretty good. But seriously, I can't even believe that it's already the fourth Zelda month. Man, I'm getting old. Sort of. As I'm sure you all know by now, there hasn't been a new game in the main Zelda series since A Link Between Worlds, but there has recently been a spin-off Zelda game, Hyrule Warriors. And I will be playing it. But not yet. First, there are other important matters at hand, like hacking Ocarina of Time. Yes, I know, it is very vital work that I do here on the Peanut Butter Guy Show. What would you all do without me? So without further ado, let's ado it. Puns. How about we start off with some useful cheats? Of course, there's the basics, like having all the items, god mode, usual cheat code type stuff, but we're looking for something a bit more interesting. How about walking on water? This seems to be a pretty common code for a lot of games, but in Ocarina of Time, it doesn't always work so great. Sometimes Link just kind of bounces off the water, and a few different times, I can barely get him out because once he gets stuck, he moves so slowly. And in deep water, it's even worse. Instead of walking on the water, it just kind of flings you up into the air. But whatever, Link seems to like it. <laughs> How about something that actually works? Like being able to use the Megaton Hammer as young Link. Well, I said that it worked. I didn't say anything about it being visible. That cost extra, I guess. You gotta buy the DLC. And did you ever wonder why Adult Link can't use the Deku Stick? Well, now he finally... Can't. He still can't. Is the game just a bit too hard for you? Well, bam, tons of hearts. There's so many they can't even fit on the screen. And if you want a really good cheat, why not try the cheat that makes you unable to use any weapons or items? That one is a real crowd favorite. And last but certainly not least, a cheat that makes your save files unable to load. No, seriously, it erases your entire save file. Don't use that one. Oh boy, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here already, huh? So let's move on to something more fun instead. Many a time I found myself riding around in Ocarina of Time, just making so many memories and treasures. Just more memories and treasures than you could possibly imagine making in a video game where you're just riding around on a horse, making memories and treasures. I almost don't even believe it myself and I'm the one telling the story. But occasionally I find myself thinking, why? Why make all these memories and treasures when my horse is just so normal? Let's fix it. There! Now Epona runs sideways. Isn't that just so much better? And if that's just not interesting enough for you, why not try this? Wow, holy bejeez. That's a messed up. I rode around on her for a little bit and that was fun, but then she just kind of disappeared and wouldn't come back. Link also rides this incredibly messed up Epona on the title screen. Now this is pod racing. You can mess with Epona even more by using size modifiers. Everyone please give a warm welcome to Tiny Epona! Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And instead of tiny Epona, how about gigantic Epona? Please do not pee on me. I'm pretty sure I would drown. And yes, you can ride her, just in case you were wondering. The only problem is that when you get off, you fall to your death. Okay, well, I guess you only take one heart of damage because Miyamoto said it. He told me. He said I he said it was a secret and I couldn't tell any of you. You can also change the size of Link. I'm so small I can barely see myself. I wonder if you could beat the whole game like this. It is really hard to hit stuff with your sword, but it isn't impossible. But what is impossible is the shooting gallery game. Um, a little help here. Can I get a stool or something? Giant Link. I kind of got a door stuck on me here. Not really sure what's up with that. Giant Link is much better at the shooting gallery game, but not by that much. My favorite thing to do is combine Big Link and Tiny Epona. All right, let's ride off into the sunset and create even more memories and treasures. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well with that, I guess it's time to move on to Link. Oh yes, we didn't forget about you, Link. Here's one that makes Link slanted. Uh, this is not a normal. 
Sometimes he's just kind of stuck in the floor and not there at all. And speaking of not there at all, how about a hack that makes Link not there at all? That's all it does. You can't do anything. Now Link has really quick steps. It's funny while he's running, but it looks even more goofy during the walking animation. Uh, oops. That's not supposed to happen. I don't think. But hey, that gives me an idea. I can't go see the great Deku tree without a sword and a shield, huh? I'll show you, Mido. It's not working. Maybe just a bit higher. There we go, all right. Now I can finally continue my journey. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. In the past, I've actually had some pretty funny corruption results simply by loading a save state from one game while playing a different game. That's actually how I got the creepy Ocarina of Time intro footage for the 2012 Binge Round Zelda Month video. Uh, I mean, it was magic. Magic, right? So why don't we give it a shot with Ocarina of Time and see how it goes. Um... I think this might be where you go when you die. I loaded a save file in this chicken coop and Link is completely unstable, except for when he's throwing cuckoos. But even then, it looks like he's playing basketball with it. For three! Let's see if we can fight some re-deads. Nope. The results I'm getting, while pretty funny, are a lot more unstable than the results I was getting with Mario 64. But before we give up, let's try loading a cutscene. Seems pretty normal so far. Well, never mind. This is apparently the Great Deku Tree, I guess. I like his blue. And Link is still kind of flying around for some reason. It then just goes into an infinite loop as far as I can tell. Honestly, I'm just surprised it hasn't crashed yet. Well, that's not the only way to get corruption results. We can also use the Vine Sauce Corruption Program. Using that program in combination with some help from the users on their forum, as well as just messing around with it for a few hours, I came up with the following clips. But before I go on to anything else, just take a listen to this beautiful music. Hey look, it's Saria! And if this noise is any indication, I'm sure she's gonna have something really important to tell me. Yep, I thought so. Most of the results I got range from Link being kinda messed up to Link being very messed up. Just act normal. I wouldn't want anyone to think I'm weird or anything. Uh, excuse me, sir, have you seen the entire lower half of my body anywhere? Or maybe my spine? Either one would be extremely helpful. Other than the messed up HUD over here, everything seems pretty normal. Oh, there he goes. Yo, what's up, Sari? Oh. You okay there? In one result, there was no music or sound effects at all, except for when I walked into or out of any room. Yay, I must be important. In fact, I feel so important that I think I'm gonna do a rap about it. It's time to get jiggy with it. PBG in the house, go! Hanging out in the woods and I'm wearing my greens All the girls run up and tell me about their magic bees I run above the ground and I would be crowned The best Link ever but I can't be found Dropping bombs on Mido cause he's kinda mean I've got more glitchy funk than the title screen I've so glitch more than any other I've got bigger ears than a know-it-all brother Hopping on the water and I can't get out. I don't even understand what you're talking about. I'm the all-time greatest rapping co Kiri. I pick up cuckoos and shoot up for three. I'm really super awesome and I just can't lie. When my body does this, I somehow do not die. Get my own theme song everywhere I visit because I break every single law of physics. Yeah, that was the rap. It was okay. I might, I might, that's it, that's it. And that's about all we have time for today. After all, this is only the beginning of Zelda month and 
I've got a lot more videos to do. But I actually feel like I'm only scratching the surface of what you can do with this game. I didn't even mention any of the cool patches you can add, like Minecraft Link, which actually works pretty well, or Outset Island and Ocarina of Time, both made by YouTuber Flotonic. So if this is something that interests you, I would recommend you do a little research and have some fun with it yourself. And you can get started with the links in the description. I have all my sources and things I use down there. And until next week, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Play Zelda. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, help share it around with a like and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this and more Zelda month, then subscribe. You can click right here to see the video I did on hacking Mario 64. And if you follow me on Twitter, you would have probably already known about this video ahead of time because sometimes I post stuff like that out there. So if you want to get ahead of the cool kids, Okay, go do that. If everything goes as planned, there will be a video every Saturday this month, so be ready for that. It'll be cool, I hope. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I just came up with that off the top of my head. It's probably why it wasn't very good.